Hi everyone, welcome to Jiotech. And in this video, we'll be looking at the CIE um, Cambridge um, ICT um, Paper 2 document production May June 2022. And we'll be looking at um, because the course code is 0417, and we'll be looking at the first variant. Okay, now it is imperative that you go to the instructions, very important you go to the instructions. They are just there to help you to give to give you a guide. So please go to the instructions, and you're going to have an idea of what to do in your external exams. Doing the external exams, okay. So um, you have been supplied with the following source files. These are your source files, and um, so please um, we're working with them. So tax one, open the file J twenty two twenty one. So let's open it. Um, J twenty two twenty one. Okay. Um, make sure that your name, center number, candidate number we appear on every page of this document. Okay, so I'm going to click on insert, click on header. Okay, I'm going to type my name here, center number. I'm going to use AN017, A for JAL, N for ND, and 017. Okay, um, candy number is going to be the year of this recording, so yeah. Save this document in your work area as J2221 followed by your candidate number. So let me do that. So click on file, click on save as, save it as format of the software I'm using. I'm going to add my candidate number here 2023. Save. So this is completed. Tax to document. You're going to edit a document for Tower Adretic Chapters, Chatters. The company uses a corporate house style for all their documents. Paragraph style must be created, modified, and applied as instructed. Open the file J2221 Chatter. So let me open the file. Enable editing. Okay. The page is set to A4, portrait with 2 cm margins. Do not make any changes to this. I like the sound of that. Three paragraph styles have already been created. Do not make any changes to this. Can all the questions be like this? <laughs> Do not make any changes. Alright, just kidding. Um, Save the document your work area in the format of the software you're using with the file name GYC Guide. Okay, um, I'm just going to copy this. The GYC Guide. File, save as, save this. What documents? Paste this. Okay, so done. Take a screenshot to show this file has been saved, including evidence of the file type. Place this evidence in your evidence document. So let's do that. I'm just going to click on view, click on details, right click on it, sort by dates modified, and we have it here. So I'm just going to take a snip into, so I have it here, just take this. Um, this is A here, so fine. Okay, so I'm just going to save this in evidence one. Okay, this is done. Okay, making quick progress. Okay, mm -hmm. place the text tower adjunct um, tower adjunctic chapter chapters centered a line in the header okay copy this i'm going to place this in the header so i'm going to click on insert click on the header three columns and i'm just going to paste this here okay now it's normal you paste it just as a plain text it's so easy that way now in the footer Okay, so um, obviously that is what is needed. So I'm just going to take this off. 
Okay. Um, I'm going to click on insert footer place in the footer automated page number left align okay click on page number coin position plain number your name center number kind of number right align okay so my name Center number AN017, candidate number 2023. Take this off. Make sure the name is, you head I center aligned between the pages. Yes, the footer is aligned with the page margin. No other set of places to do that are included in the headers or footer areas. Headers and footers are displayed on all pages. So this is. This is completed. Create the following style basing it on the default paragraph style. Okay. So let's create this style. Click right here. So we're going to click on. Well, let me just hit on enter. Click on normal. And right here. I'm going to click on A plus. Sun serif, which is area. Font size is 34. I'm going to type it here. Alignment is right. Bold. It clicks. Single. Okay, first line is indented. There's a hanging. Nine. So um, the space after is nine. Take screenshot evidence to show this setting for the white paragraph style, and place this in your evidence document. So let's check again. Area thirty-four. Both it links. Single and nine space. So apply the YC title paragraph style to the title text yacht charter guide. So let's apply it.
Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Light. So let's subheading type of chapters. So let's subheading type of chapters and the following text up to and including paragraph heading are free if you eat them. If you eat with them. Okay. So the subheading here. Um, Okay, so type of chapter, so I'm just going to type it in. Oh, the subordinates are right. I didn't see that coming. Okay, so they are right. Mm -hmm. So right here, two are free if you eat with them. Okay, so I'm just going to select this. So, select the type of chapter and the following text up to and including a paragraph ending. Change the page down so that only the text is only the text, only this text is displaying two columns, okay? Of one centimeter as a space, okay. Import the image J twenty one boot and place in the paragraph beginning an alternative. Okay. An alternative to a bare boat. So we're going to um, import it. Click on insert pictures, this device. I'm just going to pause to look for it. Okay, so um, we have it here. Mm -hmm. We'll take the image one there 80 degrees to so click on right, click on it again to make it 180. All right, so um, format the image so that it is resized to a width of uh, four centimeters. Okay, size to width with aspect mean we should maintain this aligned to the right of the column. Now it makes sense. Okay, and top of the paragraph starting, so it's aligned.
Okay? Now, if we check the column to check if it, yes, perfect. So this is completed. Sort the field, sort the field from the list from fuel for navigation to water spot equipment into alphabetical order. So I'm going to um, right click on it. Well, for navigation into water sport equipment. So let's um, sort it. Okay, so I was um, able, able to um, navigate around it. So, um, so right here, you just click on home, right? And then you see this easy. I was actually looking for it. So it, sort, it helps you to arrange the coin selection in your alphabetical or numerical order. Um, this is um, especially useful if you're trying to organize data in a table. So you will click on this. And right here, we're just going to click on paragraph because obviously there are paragraphs, right? And then it's right here in ascending order. You said into ascending order so um, just like that and we have them sorted right here okay so um so yeah sort the list completed um apply bullets to all the lists in step seven so obviously the bullets i'm going to be using is going to be a square bullet Okay, um, the bullets are aligned at the left margin, so we're going to click here, indent and spacing, make this zero. Okay, there's a single line spacing between, there's a single line spacing with no space before after each line. Go back to paragraph, make a zero, mm -hmm. and it is six point space after the last item in the list. Okay, hit on enter backspace to reduce this. Mm -hmm. So this is completed. The YC subhead paragraph style has already been created and applied to the four subheadings. Okay, we are to modify the YC subhead paragraph style, so only the following formatting is applied. So let's modify it. Um, right click and modify. Can see it has been applied already. Save. Okay, Times New Roman. Sixteen. Center. Bold. No on the line. Single. And it's six point space. So obviously we're going to take screenshot to show this modify settings for the um YC subhead paragraph style and place this in evidence to it. So time single man sixteen center good 
it clicks okay So I'm taking a screenshot to show the modify settings for the um, YC Sorbet Father style and we are placing this in our evidence document. Locate the table in the paragraph. Okay, so let's look at the table in the paragraph. Okay. And do this. Okay. Um, Apply the YC table paragraph style to all text in the table. Okay. Format only the two rows of the table so, so they look like this. Only the two rows. So I'm just going to add simple line. Okay, so I'm going to mess up. I'm going to centralize. Okay, but the set. Okay, so we're going to match this. So it's going to look like this. Okay. Format the table to so one point black internal or external grid lines are displayed when printed. So obviously, we need to do that to just, you know, um, be sure that uh, we're doing the right thing. So, um, so I'm just going to put this. Change it to one point, and that's fine. This is one point. All text on issue will display in one line. Okay, so they display in one in one line. So let's see what we can do. Okay, they display in one line. Okay, this is fine. They're all displaying in one line. The table borders and auditor fit within the column width, so we can check. Okay, so this is fine. So they all fit within the column width. Yeah, yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. And there is, six, there, is, there is six point space after the table. To write here, I'm going to hit on enter, click on home, and reduce it to six point.
spell check and proofread the document. So let's spell check the work. Spellings. Formality. Okay, vocabulary. Okay, so this is hundred percent. So this is correct. Make sure that the list and tables are not split over columns or pages. So let's make sure. And let's remove that also as well. Okay. Okay, um, there are no black pages, no window door fans. Yeah, this is six points, um, space after the table. Save the document using the file name and format used in step one. YC guide. Make sure your name, setup number, candy number are on your document. So we have this here, so we're just going to save. Click on file, click on print. Going to pause this to look for it. Okay, so we've looked for it. Um, okay, so this is going to be what printer one. It's going to copy this. Okay, so this for twenty five marks. And we can check for it to see that okay all right so please do all uh, to not just watch the video but practice it after uh, practice along with it and ensuring that your speed is improving and please do want to subscribe to this youtube channel like this video and subscribe for more igcse ict practical videos have a nice day